Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and uh, we're back from summer. Uh, I hope you had a great summer. I did, and school started again, so fun stuff. But anyways, uh, today's a tutorial on Paint.net, and I'm going to show you how to make this kind of uh, engraved text. Looks like it's on a metal sheet and been engraved. Um, also, I don't take full credit for this um, tutorial. I read some of this stuff online, but I did make a few adjustments to make it cooler. Okay, so anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and make a new uh, document here. It's going to be 1200 by 600, and it's that. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so I can get a better view. So next we're going to add a new layer, then click on Gradient under the Tools. Shortcut, shortcut key is G, and uh, pretty much we want a grayish kind of chrome looking effect here. So we're going to do from gray to white, and then drag this however you want. You can do it more than once, you can do it twice, three times, however many times you want to do it. But there we go, looks pretty centered, looks okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, after we create our gradient, we're going to add another layer, and this is where our text is going to be. And, um... I see that the steelfish outline looks the best because of how it's how it's it's like um well I'll just show you it it pretty much creates a transparent inside and then just an outside so that's this text works really well for this so just gonna type the techies in uh, good font size whatever you want and then I'm gonna go to effects align object and put it in the middle. Uh, I guess the text cut off there. So let me go quickly redo that. Okay, effects and align objects, put in the center. Okay, good. So now what we gotta do is we gotta slant this entire image so it's like. So it looks like that slanted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layers and then rotate slash zoom and uh, I already have it in here for because I was doing it before but pretty much the zoom you can do whatever you want depending how big you want it like if you don't if you want the entire image to show you might want to zoom out a little bit more so you see the entire rectangle for the angle leave it at zero twist angles 90 twist radius is 60 and you hit OK, and then you click on this other layer, and you just do the same thing really quickly. And it should go ahead and do that for you. And so we're good with that now. Uh, the next thing we got to do is get rid of our layer 2. Delete that really quick. Uh, then we can go to Image, Flatten, and Flatten the Image for the mask that we have to do. Then you save as a... PNG file. I'm going to make it mask.png and yes, hit OK for all that stuff. Now, what we have to do is we have to undo undo twice to where we're back to this right here. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to delete layer 3, which is the text. You can see, text. Yeah, delete that. Oh, oops, wrong one. Click on it and then delete it. There we go. Next, we can uh, import our mask into it. So it's under Effects, Alpha Mask, and Alpha Mask Settings. What you're going to want to click on the Mix Alpha and browse for the file, your mask.png, um, right there. Uh, inverse Mask looks like that. Looks cool for a, a kind of random text effect for another tutorial, maybe. So then we're going to hit OK, and there we have there. Um, next we can, uh, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to add a drop shadow to give it some depth. Drop shadow right there. Awesomeness. I already have it set up, but um, pretty much here I, I can't really tell you what to do. It's just preference-wise, you know, you can change it. You want, want it more on that side or kind of like in the middle there or... 
Same thing for pretty much all these. Just find one that uh, you feel comfortable with. Like, I think that one looks pretty good. You can definitely tell it's been engraved. Um, mess around with it, you know. Different colors, you know, whatever you want. Mess with opacity down here. That looks pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, there's the, the first Techies tutorial from the summer. From after the summer. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. So, yeah, bye. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.